Have you ever, dear listener, been stuck between a rock and a hard place? Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. My name is Gabe Blythe, here in Salt Lake, and... Well, it's been one hell of a year, hasn't it? A little over a year ago, I sent out a broadcast. So many things I thought I would see change right before my eyes. I thought I would see the crown stepping in and making swift and concise changes, correcting this mistake. But that didn't happen. We are still here. Our cue is here. She's been a roller coaster. I feel like I've made great progress in earning her trust. And I hope that shows I am willing to put in the work to gain yours, dear survivor. When it's deserved. Brett clearly wasn't deserving of me putting in any effort. I'm sitting here with all the information and choices. I've worked so hard to get these hard drives from the camp south of here. Risked my life, even. Thinking it would illuminate what had happened. (laughs) As if I was the main character in this. For all I know, King and Country has assigned you, dear survivor, with the task of saving the world. I guess I just wanted to feel important and make an impact. So last week, my poorly designed codebreaker did what it was designed to do. I have every email Eva Schuster ever wrote about her secret project. Completely off the books, readily available at my fingertips. I'm terrified to look, though. Why, you ask? Well, the decision is, if I look deeper than I have, I have taken a peek. I'll admit that in a second. If you look and see that there is some big conspiracy, and this was all Eva's fault, well, I guess I'll think a lot less of Eva now, won't I? (laughs) But the fact that it could have been in my backyard feels like I should have been able to do something to stop it. Had my voice been louder, would you be visiting family right now? But if it isn't Eva? And this was just some big coincidence? How on earth do I go forward? This was all just a big waste of time. Granted, we have so much time to spare right now. But, hear me out. I could have done so much search and rescue. Going literally door to door. Finding people who may be trapped. Canvassing. Corralling the others and making sure they are safely contained until the royal military steps in. Maybe saved more lives. There's always this big toss-up of whatever you might miss out on. Not really a feeling of missing out, but this feeling that is it the right choice. Like, when you start a new job. Are you really right for the role? Sure, the incompetence of your customers at this last job was bad, but it's the devil you know. I feel like we've all been there. One of my sisters... Mm. You know what? Can't do that right now. Not that it's too personal, but... There's just so much here. We've bonded through my trauma. We have decisions to make. I said earlier that I peeked at a few emails. I'll admit the curiosity got the better of me. I had to know. Sue me. Eva was so ready to do whatever work was necessary. In one email, she called one of the... We'll call them collaborators, for lack of a better term. A, quote, spineless coward who couldn't be relied upon for consuming oxygen. 
But on the flip side, quote, These are treacherous thoughts, moments that can change the world, and if we fail, we all suffer. But can we truly continue with our lives, knowing we didn't try our hardest? Have faith, KG. I think she means King George here. Have faith, KG, doesn't speak to God or for him. If he did, he would know what we were doing before we even started. Eva was so quick to call out cowardice and embrace concerns and fear. She was just so wise. What do you think Eva would do in my case? (laughs) Swear a lot more, that's for sure. Whipped Eileen and Brett before they could even do any damage. A few of these emails are just that, her replying to concerns. A lot of these high-ranking people were so scared, if not scared, then would try and back out. She knew exactly what to say, and to encourage them, and to get them back on board. I envy that. If I had her abilities, maybe one of you would have finally come out of hiding. In some later emails, she has a detailed map of whatever it is that she stole. They don't ever explicitly talk about this mystery item, just that it's one of the most rare items in possession of the crown. Sounds pretty important. Likely to cause big changes across the globe. Do I keep digging or do I let it go? Hey, you got a second? Yeah, sure thing. Come in. Okay. I know you got your stomach in knots about reading a few emails. <laughs> Great start. <laughs> I am very interested in what your next words are going to be, RQ. Ah, oh, you're finally learning sarcasm. I'm so proud. But what I have to say, I think, ties this all back in. I'm all ears. Do you remember when you went MIA? Yeah. You always tell me how quiet it was for you. (sighs) Glorious peace. But yeah, wish you never came back, actually. But (laughs) here's the thing. You check the frequencies every day. Mm -hmm. Listen for any sign of life across every band you can. But when would you check? Every day. You literally just said that. No, no, no. But what time of day? Oh, um, usually... When the sun's up for maybe an hour after that, and then another hour at dusk? Right. You are only awake so many hours of the day. Well, when you stepped away, I felt that I needed to pick up the slack. And because you stay up way later than I do... You're getting better at catching these things. You were assuming this event happened locally, maybe nationally you never thought how international it could be. So may I present to you, Gabriel, this. Aeg passim omnibus reliquis equitibus rotundo. Toga ignorare passim in hoc signo. Progressus est an investigatione. Prima seres queret fontem bocis. Sumatur vox mala valorum. Arum de assignatione preservarare. <tries> I, I, I'm speechless. We, we aren't alone. We, king and country, we... Easy there. Did you know what they were saying? 
Prima feris quered vontem vocis. Is that Castilian? I, I can pick up a few words here and there, but nothing's really sticking with me. Oh, the colonies and their poor education. You must have skipped Latin. Clearly, a failure on my part. I'm, I'm assuming you do know exactly what the message says. Smart as a whip, and it's not a good message. They are coming. Here. Why isn't that good? Aid from other people. More people. Good. Right? Not from these people. At the end, there's some Morse code. Now, I know you're a Boy Scout, so listen carefully. G. O. D. S. A. V. God save the king. God save our knights. That's the sign-off for all military action. That's the crown! The royal military is coming to save us! This is fantastic news! You keep jumping ahead. You're so full of hope and faith in the world. The rest of the message? They say there's a problem. Something that's not supposed to be here. They are coming to eradicate the problem? And that can mean a few things. First, they don't like your dumb little podcast. Well, that doesn't make any sense. You are living in a world filled with zombies, Gabriel. It makes sense. You refuse to accept that this is the world now. You could be proof that whatever they are doing doesn't work. Maybe they have sights on you because you are some missing link to a cure. Maybe they want you. That's... That's option two. Maybe they want me for the same reasons. Maybe since I'm the progeny of some bigwig, they want me safe? But you're missing the big clutch of it all. Maybe they aren't coming for us. You remember my goal? I remember you saying that you were coming here because something pointed you here. You never really told me what it was. And I'm keeping that to myself still. But I said I stayed because I got here and there were no more clues. Well, I found a new clue. Um, uh, pull up those maps that Eva had. Mm -hmm. The detailed stopping points for the fancy MacGuffin. Okay. Here. Now, look. It starts from the homeland, right? Uh -huh. Comes across the sea, lands in the colony in New York, up through Canada territories, and stops there at several different points. In one of the emails you read, it said it stopped there. Some aristocrats that were helping wanted to show off. Well, if you look at these three... Wait. If you look at these four stops, I can tell you the addresses by heart because they were houses that my father bought and later sold to his rich friends. So you know what the item is? I think so. It could be a small handful of very important pieces of the Crown's history. And those are... You think I'm dumb enough to tell you while we are broadcasting? But trust me, when I say I think that you have found what may have caused this. If not then, whatever is there, it's drawing people here. It has you, me, Brett and Eileen. By all the hells, the Knights of the Round Table themselves are coming here. And we are so close to this. I'm offering... I'm asking... Do you want to help me with my goal? This is a huge leap in logic. You realize that, right? <sighs> You're always asking that I let you in. Well, I'm doing it on my own terms. So, are you in or out? <sighs> yeah. I'm in. I was in before you even asked. You know that. 
I'm just honored you'd ask at all. But what are we even doing? We are going back to Camp William, and we are going to find one of the most holy items to the crown ever. And hopefully, when we find it, you'll be able to understand why all of this, everything that didn't make sense before, is in truth some of the simplest shit you've ever wrapped your head around. So, you ready? <sighs> Not in the slightest. But for you? For my friend? I'll go anywhere with you. <laughs>